In 2013 to 14, Alfred Health cared for more people than ever before. Trauma care grew by 6%. More inpatients were treated. They waited less time in our emergency departments and for elective surgery. And we exceeded state and federal targets for emergency care. We continue to innovate in how we delivered care that puts patients front and centre. TQC extended to Caulfield Hospital and Sandringham Hospital, reducing the length of stay for rehab patients by 16%. And 80% of patients who attended our emergency department at the Alfred were treated within four hours. We embraced new technology and innovations to deliver even better care, such as our life-saving technique in ECMO for patients in critical conditions. A world first form of patient care trial by Melbourne's Alfred Hospital. Care TV, a video version of a patient discharge sheet, is taking the hospital into a whole new era. Patient safety remained number one. This year's influenza campaign saw over 80% of staff vaccinated and 95% reporting their vaccination status. The Let Me Know program was developed to help patients and families escalate care if they felt something was not quite right. Our research continued to break new ground, changing clinical practice worldwide. Our study uh, gives us overwhelming evidence that nitrous oxide is safe to use for most people having most types of surgery. These findings are really quite exciting uh, for anaesthetists uh, all over the world. Cosmetics containing animal products have been linked to food allergies. If you have eczema and you're rubbing a moisturiser that contains a food into the inflamed skin, it can penetrate to the immune system and trigger the production of allergy antibody. Health experts have issued a warning that gluten-free diets may not be in good taste. It's uh, more expensive, so it's not healthy for the wallet. Uh, secondly, it is nutritionally is not as good doesn't mean that the gluten is not a problem for people, but it means that it's a heck of a lot less common than what, uh, what is being said. We continued to build our future. Victoria's first $36 million purpose-built centre for acquired brain injury rehabilitation at Caulfield Hospital was completed, starting a new era of specialist care. A $6.8 million upgrade of Sandringham Hospital's emergency department was also built with a new waiting area, reception, urgent care facility and entrance to serve the growing community into the future. A great start to the 50th birthday celebrations of a local hospital that was built by the community for the community. Promoting better health in the community continued through our Healthy Choices and Totally Smoke Free campaigns. And we led a new project encouraging healthcare professionals to start conversations with patients about their smoking. Because everyone that smokes needs to know what they're doing to themselves. It can make a big difference. Life changing. You know? Our dedicated team of 500 volunteers and 8,000 staff continued to make a difference, providing care every time, any hour.